Hmm. We send it. Hmm. We. All right. Twitch is good now. YouTube's on a new stream because it's dumb. But we did it. All right. Sound is back on Twitch. And it's a new VOD. Yeah, I don't get it. Okay. Okay, we back. Everyone ready? Hey, Mupo. Poor Phoenix woke up. Oh. Welcome back. Yeah, Trevor, I was close to 150 likes, huh? All right, I guess we go. I don't know if everyone's here or no. Maybe, yes, no, all right. Baby T-Rex, Big Wan, Rusilov, Psychonauts, Toy Cop, Detroit, RJB, and Can I Play Please in the house. updated the names. We're good to go. So we've got Zerg, Terran, Terran, Zerg, Protoss, 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 Terran. Pretty good mix, I would say. Pretty happy about this. I mean, one Zerg isn't exactly balanced. No, two, two Zergs, but that's about as good as you can get here, right? Right. What else matters? Okay, gonna get a Coke Zero refill. I'ma be right back. See if we can get an identified phantom real fast. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so what do we got here? Oh, saw a bunch of lings being made. 
by baby T-Rex. Whether or not he's the Phantom, I don't know. We did... Oh, okay. It's a ton of racks coming in here from uh, our guy, Rusilov. All right. So it looks like Rusilov is our Phantom. At least one of them. Save your sword. Didn't tell us how many Phantoms there are. Didn't tell us if it was a 2-0 or what, but... Oh, Saber Sword is an off, just like us. So somebody in game has to tell us what mode was selected. Maybe T Rex's lings are preventing all mining. But you're still getting money as the Phantom because of the money you're getting as a tax from all the Slayers who are mining right now. Turtling up pretty hard here. But Marie oh my gosh, the bunkers are empty? Oh, we got in the bunkers. No, stop fighting the bunker. Why are you fighting the bunker? Oh, big Wan, Big Wan, friend. Why would you fight that bunker? I guess it doesn't really matter. He's cleared it out. There's a big group down here from Can I Play Please with medic support that might try to bust up here. Unless, you know, he's the other phantom, which maybe he's got a lot of stuff going on here. Toy Cop's in, so Toy Cop is probably going Mass Scout just for the lulls of it with the two Stargates here. That'd be my guess. <laughs> Baby T Rex is accusing Can I Play Please of being the other Phantom, and uh, I mean, I. Pretty much have to agree, I think, at this point. And there's two Hydras turning into Lurkers here for Baby T-Rex, but that's not going to save all these drones for now. Run, drones, run! Big one trying to save these guys. Oh, then Rusilov joins in. To assist. This is crazy. But all this bought enough time for a couple lurkers to show up. Can I play please has two comsats, but does not make use of it. Two com there's the one comsat. One lurker dies. The other one is still here, but gonna get focused and goes down thanks to the comsat scan. And baby T-Rex is wiped out. So it's two Terrans. It's Can I Play Please and it's Rusilov. It's brown and it's orange. Who are our phantoms making a push down here on Psychonuts, who's got a sunken. Honestly, one sunken against this many marines without any medic support. Big one helped baby T-Rex, he was there. That's Reaver stuff. That's RJB Reaver stuff. Nice. So two tanks down. That's pretty sweet. He killed, looks like maybe four supply depots over here too. Two shots on a tank, baby. Marines. Oh. Shot off. No, the Scarab. Oh, they can get through. They can squeak through there. No, oh, the shuttle dies and the Reavers go down too. That actually wasn't too great. That was not an unload spot. <laughs> Bummer. You did unload them both though. John Doe with his patented 
Haha, -ha, RJB take. I wish I was getting a fourth Stargate here off of two gas. He's got to be making Mass Scout. This isn't Toy Cop. Sorry. Toy Cop's over here doing the same thing, though. Getting a fourth Stargate. So that'd be actually really funny if both Detroit Bulk and Toy Cop were going Mass Scout. I would be entertained by that. Vultures and spider mines do pretty well against marines. Siege tank here going to help too, but I'm not sure we're even researching siege mode for that for big land. Oh, siege mode is done. All right, so siege tank here. But two siege tanks of Rusilov's own have shown up, too. Hey, Fivar. Uh, I don't know. For the foreseeable future. And what's up, MP Guitara? Yeah, big one getting pushed hard here by Rusilov. This is Phantom Mode, Sam. So in this game, we know who the Phantom is. But you don't always know right off the bat. So the Phantoms, right now, the team is going to be uh, Orange here, Can I Play Please, and Rusilov, who's brown. So those two against everybody else. They've got extra income to help them do it. They're horribly outnumbered. RJB's over here, Reaver dropping on Rusilov like a boss. Uh, we got two of the Protoss players on Team Slayer going mass scouts against Terran. So maybe don't, maybe don't try that. Toy Cop, Detroit. Like, I know you guys like scouts and everything, but you're going to lose this for your teams. Forces. God, they can't kill those Marines. Six Scout can't kill like two Marines with medic support because Scout ground damage is Garbo. Yeah, Goliaths are out now. This is not looking great. Not looking too great for Mass Scout player. Detroit Bulk actually has a couple carriers. Not just the Scouts. That's nice. Reaver shenanigans continuing to reaver shenanigan here as Rusilov's main base is bereft of any income at all. No gas income, no mineral income whatsoever, which is useful. Carriers. Losing interceptors here as they try to whittle down this tank count, which works. It's definitely fine. Toy Cop has got two 1-1 one, one upgrades on his scouts. He's going to run into a line of missile turrets and be very sad here in just a second. Because Can I Play Please is like, I've got the cash to build a middle and missile turrets and make dropping on me very hard. He's got a battle cruiser. He's got two battle cruisers. And taking center is a really big deal on this map, too. Yeah, maybe don't Hydra Lurker Rusilov when he has 17 siege tanks sitting over here. Don't do that. Good idea. Great idea. 
Critter! Thanks for hitting the like button, man. We had to restart the stream because of technical difficulties, but I guess we're back, and that's what matters. Zealots here. From RJB, trying to deal with Mass Zealot, not doing too poorly against a Goliath Marine Siege Tank army. Matrix battle cruiser and the scouts are like, yay, a battle cruiser. We could kill that. We were designed for this very purpose. Big Wan's trying to throw the command center over here. He's contained, but he's got his own tanks defending. It's going to be a tough break for Rusilov. He can't get reinforcements over here. Dropping over here would be insane. There is no anti-air at all. If Ruslov could figure out how to get some drop ships and just go drop, 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 that's a dead nerd. This is what it is. The scouts are here to save the day. I'm trying to save Big Wan. That's a win. Mass Scouts saving the day here for Big Wen, killing a bunch of medics. It's probably a war crime, but whatever. Stop, dude. Stop trying to break this with Hydro Lurker. Hydro Lurker is not intended to deal with Mass Siege Tank. I guess they have zero, zero upgrades, maybe. Okay, the Hydras also have zero upgrades, though, so... Hmm... from Detroit. Bolt getting some work done. Plus two attack on those guys. The scouts are swinging in. Obliterating the battle cruisers. I don't know why kind of places pleases building battle cruisers at all. They just keep getting obliterated by the mass scout. It's like you're just giving the mass scout players a reason to exist here. Every battle cruiser you build instead of building Goliaths is bad right now from kind of play please. It's a little bit surprising from him. Play, please, is telling Rusilov to participate, please. That'd be nice. Nice little uh, Zealot High Templar Reaver unload here from RJB. This creates further landing spots for future attacks and also is killing a bunch of supply depots and stuff, which is not bad. Mass scouts at 3 2 3 upgrades. I mean. I talked a lot of crap about Mass Scout. It's kind of working. These are 1 0 Marines. Yeah, the upgrades from Rusilov have not been good, but he. Okay, suddenly, where did these Goliaths come from? I don't know. Hurry, kill the tanks and get out of here. Uh, yeah, Eric. This is the first stream we've actually used this version of Phantom Mode, so I think so. Looks like Detroit is using this angle of engagement to come up this left side. RJB opened this area. Now Detroit's taking advantage of it. This might actually be a Slayer win. Very, very well could be. Andreas Olby, he's back. He's back from outer space.
Yeah, man, these carriers are doing great. There's a couple of Valkyries out. Goliaths are having a hard time getting body shots. I'm saying that and the carrier dies immediately, so. Never mind. I'm not in any carrier micro here from Detroit Volk, but that's okay. It's kind of working anyway. Can I play please? He's really worried about this. As he should be. Rusilov is stuck. He's replenished a lot of his Marines, Goliaths. The Mass Scout's not going to do much here. Yeah, the lack of carrier micro here is really causing problems for Detroit. These carriers really shouldn't be dead in this position, but you just kind of park them and wait. Bad things are going to happen. Here we go. So Big Wan, who got saved earlier today by Mass Scout, go siege up at the front of Can I Play, please? His tanks are all out of position. Really doesn't even have that many tanks. Dude, Can I Play, please? Is in trouble now. Can I play please? Is it 2 1? Big Wan is at 0 0 in his tanks. Can I play please? Is like, dude. If all you're gonna do is camp. How do we win? And Russo is like, I can't get out. Green Wave. Yeah, Purdue's kind of a monster this year. They're always a monster. They always kind of choke in March Madness, but this year, they might final for it. ED is just too big. Like, ED is too big and too skilled for most teams in the tournament. Yeah, Green Wave. My team beat a lot of teams that made it into the Sweet 16 this year, too. It's just uh, it's a one and done, right? It's what team is better on the floor when the game is played. That's all it takes. It is hilarious that Bama's in the uh, final four. <laughs> Zealot Storm Drop here, RJB, north side of Can I Play Please's main. Gonna try to deny some upgrades. I don't know who has the bigs to match up with Edie. But that's the question. One one lings rolling in here from Psychonauts. The carrier group is back from Detroit. I think Can I Play Please is dead. His natural base is dead. He has no other sources of income. He's getting the passive stuff from the Slayer's mining, but it's not going to be enough in the overall here. Rusilov hasn't been able to take his second base at all. Uh, Toy Cop cruising into Goliath Town, USA. Not going particularly well. Can I play please at 70 supplies, says Savior Sword. Brutal. <laughs> hey, look at my name. The game is very much alive, sir. It is alive as long as people continue to love it. And we do. And it's a recall on Can I Play Please. RJB showing up. Showing down and taking it to one of his nemeses here on the Falcon Paladin Sunday Brood War stream. Can I play, please? Couldn't do it alone. Too much pressure from all different sides here. RJB was great. Detroit Volk was great. Can I is out. Rusilov taps, and man, that is a almost a flawless win. Baby T-Rex died, but everybody else stayed alive. That was fantastic. GG. Hey, Ara Ara. Yeah. Stream had to get restarted for dumb reasons, but we're back now. All right, GG's. Okay, look. Ugh. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do one fastest map, and then we're going to do uh, the other thing. The Falcon Unrest. Okay, okay. T-Rex kind of coaching and calling out was useful for sure. Toy Cop won with scouts. Good job, Toy Cop. <laughs> 
You're funny. Gotta make sure these teams are good. Okay, these teams are not good because RJB and Can I Play Please are on the same team. But Zump's really good though. All right, Detroit, you're on. Can I Play Please needs a break. Hey Jinx, we're still going, absolutely couple more things to do before we go. Hey, Javin joining the Discord server. Yeah, we gotta fix that thing with the uh, the low econ voting for phantom mode. Definitely gotta fix that. All right, look, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna swap out. All right, thanks, Amster. Appreciate it, dude. Then I play plays BT Rex, Akomi, Big Wan, Hamster, Dark Knight, Bazump, RJB. <laughs> Thanks, baby T Rex. Play please isn't back, we cannot go. He's back. Alright. Cool. I think we're doing it. Javin5666 joining the Discord server. Alright. Yep. Teams are next to each other as usual on the RJB fastest map. We got Big Wan 3000 playing Terran. Kokomi, his teammate, protossing. We've got Can I Play Please? Terran. And finally, it is Baby T Rex protossing as usual. -ish. Team 2 is RJB, Protoss, a Zerg player, Dark Knight. We've got a yellow Protoss hamster, and then bazump playing Protoss up here, too. So, yeah, what do we got here? <laughs> Three tosses, can I play, please? Is not fair. Toss is so good. They're better than us. Says baby T-Rex. Toy Cop is predicting a can I play, please loss here. Uh, Chaotic Tyrant. Yeah, we've done some big game hunter stuff before. 
especially replays. People have sent in some replays for me to cast that are big game hunters that have been really good. But yeah, early game Protoss is just too... Like, Zealots are so, so, so strong on fastest map. Zerg players have to know exact build orders of when to build what, when to have Sunkins ready to go, how to position them. It's a lot to know. And even Protoss has to know how to deal with the Zealots that are coming at them. Terran, too. Although, walling off front here is really, really useful. And honestly, if there are enemy Protoss, I'd recommend walling off front, but... Can I play please is like, nah fam, I'm just going to go ahead and put my stuff close to home, get a bunker in right here, and deal with the zealots that way, maybe get some fire bats. Hey, psycho nuts. Hello. Yes, it's been a wonderful Easter Sunday. Kids made some front toast for breakfast, that was awesome. Hamster didn't make a zealot. Well, we're going to lose now, hamster. How dare you not make a zealot. JB with the stream snipe accusations at 2 minutes and 20 seconds into the FME. What could he possibly complaining, be complaining about here? Hmm? Yeah, French toast definitely for the win. It was delicious. Made some apple syrup, which is a big hit in my household. Pairing it with pancakes and French toast and a little bit of a spin on the traditional stuff. Hmm. Zealots are out in a boat. Yeah, it's a bunch of zealots, a bunch of marines, everybody hacking away out there. Big old swarm heading into Aunt Hamster, making a move on Can I Play Please here. Dark Knight's with him. Bazump is here too. RJB says, don't do that. Don't everybody all in on one player. Hmm. <laughs> the French people can make more French toast, Toy Cop. They'll be fine. Ooh, blueberry syrup is really good too. Yeah, sometimes I slip into Canadian. Canadian accent a little bit. Carletta Man, thanks for following. I do have some Canadians in my life, so that's understandable. Yeah, can I play please? The Sim City is good. No real surprise there. But Zump's very good. I like Bazump a lot. Got some cannons up. So no one's dead in the first five minutes. Thumbs up. Falcon Paladin seal of approval for that one. Too many of these FMEs, somebody's dead in the first five minutes, and then it's like, oh, uh-oh, here we go. Swinging on into Bazump. No, just kidding, you got wiped out, okay. Monstrosity, Eric. French toast is delicious. I've never heard anyone call French toast a monstrosity before. That hurts my feelings. Stir sharking around. It's kind of annoying when you make all these zealots and you can't find someone to kill with them, you know? Can I play, please? Cannot hold this. He needs to fall back if this happens. 
Yeah, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. I mean, he's wiping out a bunch of zealots, though. Now there's a lot. Run! Not soggy, you cook it, Eric. How are you making French toast? Is it like dripping wet after you're done with it and it's ready to be eaten? That's wrong. You're doing it wrong if that's the case. Can I playfully says counter? Maybe T Rex says it's GG. What the heck? Why is it GG? Uh oh. The DT follow up with. Oh! RJB with the snipes, the cannons, brings the DTs in. Kakomi struggling a bit here. Understandably so. Jericho! Ten Falcon Paladin memberships gifted by Jericho, Eric, John Doe, Jack, Chicho, Dragos, TW, The Mad Doctor, Leon, It's Me, Real Ultra, Six Beat, Jim, and Eric coming through with the ten gifted Falcon memberships from Jericho. Amazing stuff as we're watching baby T-Rex die to Zealots and... DTs, really nice timing attack from RJB, honestly. Dark Knight making a push on RJB with some Hydras. There are some DTs here, though, and man, the, they just... We just got more gifted memberships. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. There's TW. Got two more guys. Two more roars. There we go. Kitty bomb in the house. Deal, Psychonuts. You got it. Maybe T-Rex displeased about his current state of things. But has enough money to rebuild a Nexus. And the supply and stuff to make Zealots. So... If everyone's ignoring him, he can come back from the dead. RJB has got the Zealot DT thing going. Hamster's got a DT in there, too. Uh, Siege tank drop from Big Wan. Here against Bazump. High ground siege tanks, low ground siege tanks, marines. I like this. This is going to cause some chaos for sure. Big Wan making use of them siege tanks to a great effect. Baby T-Rex, you just stop playing, dude. You just complain and complain and then stop trying. Come on, don't do that. Yeah, save it. Okay, Nexus. Nexus, 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 Nexus. Baby T-Rex. Nexus. <sighs> Baby T-Rex, bud. Come on. I mean, I know you're one drop away from RJB crushing you, but seriously, keep playing. The high ground siege tanks are all sorts of distracting here, but Zump's doing, or Big Wan's doing great. There's some kind of a RJB thing down here on Kokomi that's causing all sorts of problems, understandably so. I don't know about this from RJB. Nice storm, but outside of that, I do not see this working. Good secondary storm, though. A couple tanks die, but that is definitely a hold. And then RJB did send enough to wipe out baby T-Rex while he was at it. Dark Knight on the follow-up into Can I Play Please's base here. Hydraling. Are there enough Hydraling? 
to get in here. Siege tanks, clumped up hydras. Now it looks like it's a hold. Marines reinforcing. Siege tanks are not dying fast enough for Dark Knight to do this. And bam, that's a hold from Can I Play Please. Once again, oh, that might be it for baby T-Rex. Yeah, he's got zero probes remaining. Now he's done. Now he's accusing RJB of stream sniping, which is very hilarious. Green Wave, I'm glad you got work off early too. But Zump got the high ground now. He got the Dragoon high grounds. Plus there's DT wandering in. And Big Wan's getting busted here. Yeah, this is tough. Maybe T-Rex says, you can't break, can I play, please? I don't know. It's looking pretty close to broken at this point. Gotta toss that out there. Yeah, not looking good. Shuttle. Okay, gets wiped out. High Templar on loads! Oh, that was pretty good. That's a dead High Templar storm wiping out several SCDs along that right side. So Bazump's getting crushed by a combination of Hamster and Bazump. And Can I Play Please is getting killed too. Yeah, too much Protoss in the first, you know, 12, 13 minutes of this game. Uh, for Kokomi to not really be all that familiar with fastest map, right? Hey, Max, heck yes, still here. Always here, here forever and never. There's your fastest map. Again, it's tough. It is tough to get even teams when we have people that are inexperienced that are playing with us, you know? Kind of, it, it's tough to know the level of experience and sometimes too. All right, final game of the stream. It's gonna be Falcon Unrest 3 for all on Falcon Unrest, which actually is not even here, unfortunately. There you go. Falcon Unrest 5. Litany Against Fear created it. John Doe's made some edits. Other people have kind of poked around with it too. And here we go. Free for all. Falcon Unrest. Ooh. You can do that? How did I not know you could do that? Big map. All right, can I play please? Kyra Rolonis, John Doe, Bazump, Jericho, Detroit, Striker, RJB. It's a pretty good setup. Pretty good team thing here. All right, see you later, JTOX. RJB did drop a little bit. Yeah, RJB was dropping Ara Ara. Oh, four Phoenix. Yes. Welcome. Four Phoenix wants to obs. That's okay. Okay. I'm going to step away too. I'll be right back.
Hoorah. All right. Hey, Tyrion. <laughs> no. Stream crashed. I had to start another one. There's another five-hour stream on the channel from the first five hours of the stream today, Tyrion. This is just the second half of it. Okay, go, go, go. Can I play, please? Kyra Alonis, John Doe, Bazump, Jericho, Detroit Bulk, Stryker, and RJB. I mean, this is a this is a bit of an all-star group here for sure. All right, bam. Last code zero of the stream. All right, we got Can I Play Please, Protoss. We have RJB, Teal. A purple Protoss up here, Detroit Bulk. And the last player on the left side is Kyra Lonis playing Zerg. Right side is a white Terran player, Striker. We've got a brown Terran player, John Doe. Got a dark blue Protoss, Jericho, and another Terran player, Bazump. So, like this a lot. Like these teams. Unrest is definitely goaded. Got some... Some Cyrillic characters in my chat. What are they saying? What's happening? Oh. How about this one? <laughs> Ursodon is blocking Jericho. Lol. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> so, historically, I do feel as though there are certain places that are dangerous to spawn. This one, for example. This one, too. These guys have a bit of an antagonistic relationship. This is a place that always dies early. And maybe this one as well. Everything else seems okay. Center bases, not that bad. This one's okay, generally. This bottom left one's fine-ish to nobody too close to them to be that scary. But we'll see. I have had... I mean, I think the last free-for-all we did on this map, up in this position, it was... Uh, they did end up surviving the entire game. Maybe winning, so... Can be done. Can be done. Yes, Jinx. Indeed. Indeed. Gone. What? What are you talking about, RJB? YOLO! One base cybercore! Out of RJB. People are scouting each other out, trying to see what's going on. Kai tries to get an Overlord over here. He does find Striker, but loses it. Kai's Overlord is dead. It does supply block him, which totally sucks. He's got an Evo Chamber on one base. Gas Gathering. I don't know what Kai's trying to do. We'll find out together. Yeah, see, Detroit knows about this map. He's cannoning up this back area because he knows enemy Dragoons and Marines like to set up back here and kill his stuff. So, like I said, dangerous place to spawn. Detroit seems to be handling it. Kakaru! Kakaru! In the house. Doing all sorts of kakaro -y things. So many Kakarus. There's three Kakarus on the screen right now. Four. This is Kakaru Central. RJB says, I'm dead. 
don't know why, but I guess he doesn't have much. <laughs> Classic John Doe with a very quick haha -ha RJB every single time. Either... Is he trying to just go like super fast one base reaver? Kaya Rolonis pops an overlord over here, sees what's going on. Kai is no longer supply blocked, but now he's oversupplied with the overlords that he made, and he doesn't have a second base yet, but he's thinking about it. Yeah, pretty much, Dave C. There's not really anywhere else to go for you. You know, if you spawn right here. Striker on the move out. Is he going to go after Kai? Seems like not a bad idea. Kai will just straight up die. Yeah, he dead. All right. So Kai at 522 has um, a second base. Almost. No links. And an Evo Chamber that I'm not sure really did anything at all, actually. So Kai's down early. I don't know. I do not know where his money went. Too many overlords, maybe? Is that where they went? Oh, getting a third base. No, yes. No, second base. That's not third. Oh, it is a third. Okay, yeah. So it's basically trying to go three bases with, I mean, no wings or anything at all. see if a striker can find something else to kill. Okay, he found it. RJB says he wasn't expecting the most illogical thing. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Shield battery, reaver, shuttle, RJB at six minutes. Did manage to sneak a base up here. <laughs> the illogical thing was Kakaru in space, says John Doe. Who's dragooning? Detroit. It's like, well, my second base options are, well, here, honestly. Or we can just take, you know, just take an island. A lot of island places to expand on this map. Kai doesn't have enough money to build a new hatchery. And he's just got some buildings remaining. Detroit's APM is 13, says Jinx Skeel. Yeah. <laughs> All he's got is a bunch of cannons. Not really running around with an army at all, you know? Goodbye, Kai. Thanks for playing with us, man. Little too greedy. RJB is astounded by the fact that Kai is dead at eight minutes. So now, Striker has pretty much the ability to grow all along this bottom side here without too much bother, unless RJB comes and finds him. Which is an, it's a risk at this stage of the game, no doubt about it. Kai's just trying to use his overlords. He's dead, never mind. He's gone. That overlord is moving on its own, though, which is a little bit creepy. We got ourselves tanks showing up at Jericho's base. I don't know if he's ready for that. The Zump is here to kill your stuff, sir. 
Also, John Doe expanding to this. It's not an island. It's sort of an island, though. In some ways. RJB basically went one base Reaver. Didn't do anything with the Reaver. Instead, just ended up expanding. And now he's double expanding behind it. He's like, you know what? Cool. I don't have to one base Reaver. I guess I won't. Gas is problematic. The siege tanks are here for Jericho. Oh, and then Strikers here. Strikers? Like, oh, I don't want to deal with that many siege tanks. What can I play please doing? We haven't looked at him. My shuttle speed didn't upgrade. Oh, no. It's Dragoons, the second base here from Can I Play Please. A pretty chill existence. Again, people in this center have chill existences. John Doe's got a second base. Oh, he's pushing on Bazump while he's away. Bazump panic sends his vultures over to try to buy some time for the tanks to show up. But his tanks walk into siege mode at tanks and all get obliterated. Bazump is panicking. Jericho should send a Christmas card, a thank you card to John Doe for this push. Totally saved his butt. Totally saved his butt. Guess, okay, so it's uh, RJB getting Reaver dropped. Reaver versus Reaver shenanigans here. RJB versus Can I Play Please here on the National Geographic channel. Look at them being fancy. You boys are so fancy, both of you. Look at this. Look at the fanciness. It's so fancy. Striker to make it move on Can I Play Please while his Reavers are away. Tis the nature of the free-for-all, man. Sometimes the things you need are somewhere else. And uh, shield battery getting targeted a little bit here. Dragoons against this many Marines with Siege Tank support. But Dragoons coming around the backside. They do snipe that tank, which is going to be helpful. And then the Reavers show up. That's the spirit. Ah, Reaver shots. More Reaver shots are needed, though. Hey, Bernard, you're welcome, sir. Bazump taps. Yep, Bazump went for the early attack on Jericho, was killing him, and but he left his home undefended, and John Doe came in and killed him. Bazump, tough look, man. RJB shows up. <laughs> just, just after Can I Play Please managed to get Striker out of his base, and he's with, here with his Reavers now. Incredible. Incredible plays. All right, so Striker's got his two bases. He's rocking with that. SCV's kind of hiding down here for some reason. Not sure what they're all about. Yeah, can I play please is never dead until he's left the game. I think that's fair to say. Especially on this map where there are so many places to cockroach. It is a very, very cockroachy map. But he hasn't won the last couple of these, so it's not like it's some foregone conclusion. Oh no 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 don't come in here, shuttle. again. Can I play please? He's getting pushed. He has to bring his Reavers into this. Do the Reavers go for the tanks? Do they go for the Marines? Either way, that's a seven kill Reaver that escapes. Siege tanks are still a major problem though, so we're going to pick those up. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, never mind. That guy doesn't get picked up. He just dies.
Yeah, Striker trying to kill Can I Play Please so hard today. Reavers show up at Detroit Bulk's base. And all of his 20 APM are not enough to save him from this. RJB's like, why didn't I do this a million years ago? Just kill every single probe at this base. Easy peasy. Detroit says, this is my home now. I'm building carriers. <laughs> That's all I'm here for. You can have my main. Man, Striker's back. This second base is really saving Can I Play Please's butt right now. Where did the Reavers go? Are they down? Oh no. Did he? Oh my gosh. Striker might just be taken out Can I Play Please, y'all. He eventually had enough on two base to take down this two basing Protoss, which makes sense statistically. Yeah, man. I think Can I Play Please is dead. I know he's not dead until he's dead, but this... This iteration is dead. I like how there's a Wraith here, just to deal with the shuttle. But there's not one. Hmm, we missed that. Or the shuttle is somewhere else. I don't know where the Reavers went. I feel like the Reavers all died. Look at this guy. He's like... Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Green wave, calling an RJB win here. He's been allowed to expand down this left side. Basically be left alone. Single-handedly take this money, which is Detroit folks. Yeah, man, can I play please? 26 supply. That's going down fast as these droves get absolutely murked as they just try to flee from this war zone. Yeah, so can I play please? Is he vacking as you expect him to do, but where is there to go? I guess is the larger question for him. Is there any safe route to get out to a place where he can expand and try to hide? RJB got super lucky with Kai and Detroit Bulk on his side of the map over here. And that can I play please got wiped out by Striker. That's massive for RJB. It's all down this left side. We got ourselves a carrier mech battle up on the right side here between Detroit Bulk and John Doe. Goliath count, pretty hefty. 1-1 one, one upgrades on those guys. The carriers are at plus 1, plus 1. No shields yet. Just the plating. RJB is finding this attempt uh, to have a second base here from Detroit Bulk now that this one is dead. Yeah, it's like you just... John Doe just killed your second... Yes, Defiled. This map is tough. It's true. It is really tough. It's tight. There are enemies everywhere. It's really, really difficult to win out here, which is why it's so fun to watch somebody do it, you know? Quick plug for falconpaladin.store. Again, got the t-shirts, the mugs, the hoodies, the the beanies. T-shirts with all sorts of Falcon Paladin stuff on it here, too. We will ship anywhere but Syria and North Korea right now. There might be other countries on the list. I don't know. And on checkout, if you use the code, discount code, you get a 10% off on your order, your entire order, 10% off. We do Shop Pay, PayPal, Google Pay, Visa, 
MasterCard, American Express, Union Pay, and JCB. Check it out. Falcon Paladin. Dot store. All right. What's going on out here? Hey, Ride. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Sunday stream. Good to have you here. I don't know. Could you ship stuff to Gaza before the current situation? So maybe just never Gaza. I don't know. Sean Ong is here. Yeah, Greenway. The discount code this week is discount code, according to Somicron. RJB swapped into carriers real fast after making like two Reavers and a couple shuttles. I'm not sure that Stryker is ready to deal with this. He's got a bunch of Marines, which are pretty good, but the numbers are looking tough. Yeah, RBG, RJB could expand here, could expand here. Striker's fallen back. He does not have enough to deal with that many carriers, although they're fleeing too. 2-2-1 two, two, upgrades on those guys from RJB here at 20 minutes. Nuclear launch detected. Man, did I accidentally find this nuke the instant it came up, before it came up. John Doe coming through with the nukes in a free-for-all like the absolute boss that he is. Jericho at 160 supply, but that number's a little bit smaller now. That was a very fun, fun nuke. He's going carriers, too. So we're just going to have carriers from Detroit Bulk, carriers from RJB, and carriers from Jericho today. And then John Doe and Stryker trying to tear in their way through that absolute nightmare. And then we're going to have stasis battles, too. Oh, I might have to outlaw stasis at some point. There has to be some rule against stasis, because, oh my gosh, it just makes these battles last forever. You both have a carrier fleet. Just kill each other. I know stasis is amazing. All right, John Doe now dealing with the nightmare that is the carriers on this map. He's gone carriers on this map. He knows how this works. John Doe's upset about the carriers, as usual. Hey, look, the other side is getting carriered too. John Doe is not happy about this. It's one thing to get attacked on two sides at the same time by different players. If they're both carriers, though, it's extra infuriating. No, oh, RJB will use stasis on this map. Don't even worry. Wants to get an EMP off so bad. It does get it on the top half of this carrier group. This bottom half is still okay. Ooh, little lockdown, little bit too close. Lockdown, and these carriers are dead. Well played by John Doe. Hot stuff there for sure. Hey, Yannick. Nope. After the stream, I'm going to go take a nap. I've been here for almost seven hours now. Yes. Jinx is predicting a striker versus RJB finale. Maybe. Don't count out Detroit hiding up here. Sneak, sneak, sneaking with his scouts and his carriers. 
How on earth was Can I Play Please allowed to rebuild on his own main? What is this? What are these shenanigans? Oh, we're using the stairs base now. John Doe is using the hilarity of the stairs base. Which is pretty dumb. Shield batteries, carriers, RJB. Maybe you're right. Maybe RJB doesn't need arbiters. He has an arbiter tri tribunal, though. Tribunal, tribunal. Yeah, it's not good, but you know what? It's better than nothing. This map doesn't have a ton of minerals. And can I play please gets found again? Yeah, I don't know if this was a trap. Like last I saw, Striker had this base. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if RJB came through and wiped it out and then Striker just never retook it and then can I play please retook it, but that's hilarious. Striker trying to retake this base. The carriers are heading that general direction, though. And can I play please not eliminated? Because he's got a pylon right here. He has enough money for another Nexus, too. <laughs> you are in my way, says Striker. I mean, are you talking about RJB? Because... He's going for it. He brought the ghosts. He's bringing the lockdown. Is it enough lockdown? And Marines and Gold. The anti air capabilities here are pretty tough for Striker. More lockdowns being added into the pile here, dude. He's more lockdowns. The interceptor count is getting smaller as the post carriers are getting locked down. My gosh, I don't know that I've seen this much lockdown. He locked down an interceptor by accident. That's fun. What the heck is going on? RJB's like, I can't just let these die. Another lockdown. Incredible stuff. <laughs> but I think RJB can survive this. He's going to lose a couple carriers, but he's pretty much wiped out the entire ghost count, count of strikers. Down under 100 supply once all this is said and done. EMP gets tossed. Science vessel dies for it. Lockdown starting to wear off on these carriers. You got to re-add them to your control group once they get locked down, which is always annoying. And yeah, Striker, uh, 114 supply, RJB 194. Not great. This base could probably just straight up die, but RJB is heading the other way. Can I play please is cockroaching again? How? How does he have this base? I think he lost a carrier, Dave C, but not many. I think one, maybe two. Lockdowns are good, but you got to be able to follow up on it, you know? Yeah, you got EMP'd, so I think he just... Yep. I'm gonna come back and shield battery recharge his butt here. Okay, let's watch the death of Can I Play Please for the, I don't know, fourth time today, 28 minutes in this match. Seriously though, this is like his fourth Nexus to die. And he still has Magic Pylon that's keeping him in this game. And Magic Thousand Minerals and Magic Probe. He's got three supply. I think it's the Probe and this Observer.
Wait, two observers? Yeah, I think he's got two obs. There we go. Well, I might as well retake. What is this? Carriers. Danny's like, Striker's like, I just had this problem. Just. Oh, and okay. So now it's Striker's turn to deal with two separate carrier fleets on either side of him at the moment. I'm being attacked by two Protoss. Help me, John Doe. You're my only hope. <laughs> yeah, this is tough. This is some tough stuff here. Meanwhile, Detroit Bull continues to be at 95 supply. Scouts with 321 upgrades. Striker at 131 supply. Supply blocked. Oh, there was a Wraith fleet here from John Doe, but it got stasis. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Gotta wait for the stasis to wear off, guys. It's bird law. They're up. They're running. Storms his own Corsair a little bit. They got out. All right. Okay. Can I play, please? <laughs> being hunted down by the master who is RJB right now with 7,000 minerals in the bank and 12,000 gas. RJB really should win this. He does appear to be going the non-arbiter method of trying to win this when two other players are making mass carriers. When I know he has a tribunal, but I don't, I haven't seen any arbiters from him. Ah, here we go. The anti-air capabilities of Striker are immense right now. And coming in from different angles, too. Some of the shots are going on SCVs, which I don't think you really want them to do. Yeah, there you go. Actually using some micro. Trying to kill the SCVs that are killing his Nexus, but they're not going to get through that in time for it to be really worth anything. See you later, alligator. Okay. Detroit managed to get a fourth base, which is very cool. Jericho just kind of crushing Striker after all that army died. And Striker's like, all right. Everyone wants to kill me. Having a bad time. There's the complaining. And bam, Striker taps. Okay, Striker's out. I don't know if there's any income that is available to him still. As the cloaked rates are here, the OBS get sniped. Apparently not. Maybe. Oh gosh. Falling back to the cannon. I don't think any wraiths died on that retreat. That was pretty smooth. Yeah. No, I know it's Jericho. Did I not call him Jericho? It's definitely Jericho. Yeah, John Doe, 173, Jericho, 176, 196 RJB, 103 Detroit. Can I play, please? How does he do it, everybody? I don't know. It's a great question. Jericho is super, super, super dark blue, yes.
Detroit Bulk manages to escape past Mass Goliath Town with only losing one carrier. Could be worse. I don't. The Union Striker had any income. But seriously, cash wise, RJB is up. Supply wise, RJB is up. Ooh. One of Can I Play Please's probes got sniped. Is RJB hunting? Dude, this pylon dying would be huge. No, RJB. Not my last pylon. Let me live. No, Can I Play Please is too dangerous to be let alive. Impossible. Not allowed. RJB says, all right. I uh, didn't say anything about not killing. Oh. Oh. Off down, off down, off down, off down. Off down. Last ob's down, but I think all the wraiths are dead. Oh, that was so many observers, and RJB needed every single one of them. And RJB's down to, or John Doe's down to 130 supply after that. Oh, wait, more cloak, more cloaked wraiths are here though. Woo! That was amazing. So the cloaked wraiths are like, die, please, die faster. They did get one. They got a carrier. Assuming RJB is just building OBS right now. Ooh, one of them decloaked. Yeah. The other one decloak? Seems nope, it's still here. It is four, three, two, one, decloaked. Decloaked Wraith dead. John Doe, 120 supply. Supply blocked. That's going to slow him down a bit. And yeah, the Terran representation in this game is not doing well. Carriers are dying because the micro isn't insanely good here from RJB. He brings a new OBS in. Just in case... Oh my gosh, Jericho's over here too? <laughs> So John Doe is dead. An accidental engagement of the Protoss. Are they going to fight each They are. They're going to fight each other. But the stasis is real. Run. Run. You are so stacked up. No. No stasis. The Arbiter dies without casting it from Jericho. But I think he's just outnumbered by sheer... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sheer numbers here. There are more carriers. RJBs are previously injured from fighting those Goliaths and those Wraiths. John Doe says, kill RJB. He's big and scary. RJB, 190 supply. He's replacing his stuff as he dies. It is an honorable carrier versus carrier battle. No stasis. Just may the best man win. And I'm not sure if the Corsairs are helping all that much, but they're not hurting, I guess. And RJB's carrier fleet gets wiped, knocking him down too. There we go. 280 supply. Hmm, interesting. Let's see. Is he going to transition to more of a ground army now? Or is he. It looks like he's trying to rebuild that carrier fleet with his bank. He doesn't have that many Stargates, all things considered. I guess he's got three down here and three up here. So he's got six? Must check all bases for signs of Stargates. So yeah, six Stargates doesn't seem like a lot. I don't know. Jer can Jericho do this? He's only got three zero three upgrades. And RJB is at uh, 333, so upgrade advantage RJB. Carrier number is 8 versus 9, plus there's Dragoon support. I don't think you should push in there. Is Play Please still doing this? Kind of Play Please has a scout, everyone.
Yeah, so this is where I think the upgrades come into play. Ooh, he recalled out. <laughs> go, Interceptors, go! Find your home! <laughs> Across the entire map. Go! Fly! There is your home. That's hilarious. What a recall. Can I play, please? Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right. Jericho loses a carrier. Woof. Blah, blah, blah. Killing the corpse of Striker. Nothing too impressive here at all. John Doe back up to 150 supply. Siege tanks, wraiths with 2-2 two, two upgrades. The siege tanks are at 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. We had an interceptor race like that in a... I want to say it was a phantom mode game. A couple of years ago during the Sunday stream, but... Not very frequent, that's for sure. Well, RJB, he promised. He promised to let Can I Play Please live, and he's not doing it. No, oh, he is. He is. He's doing it. I killed one carrier, says Can I Play Please. That's true. He did do that, RJB. Jericho says he lost everything. That's not true. He still has carriers. He recalled them out of there. What are you talking about? Everybody saw it. And just cleansing the earth of any sign that Striker was ever here. And then salting it. Salting the ground beneath his buildings. So that nothing may ever grow there again. Detroit taking a stairs base. There's gas on this one. Again, very funny stuff. Play, please. He's got his plus one attack scouts. He's producing off of two stargates here and one gas. Yeah, John Doe's still running. Still got cash. His gas bank is under a thousand. Not great. But he's harvesting as much as he can from the refineries he has access to. And well. That's all you can really do at this stage of the game, right? RJB making a push here on Jericho. Ground and air. Let's see if Jericho is going to throw down a stasis here or not. He's got the Arbiter in position to do it. Way enough energy. 250 energy on that thing. Scout battle. Detroit's scouts are stronger, but maybe can I play please as micro is better? I don't know. That really matters. I think he's outnumbered and out upgraded and totally outgunned here by Detroit Bulk's scout count. Detroit Bulk has no illusions that if he lets can I play please live, things will go well for him. Oh, free scout here. Ah, free scout is free. Can I play please coming in? Joel, happy Easter to you too. Yeah, die. Cloaked Wraith Ball is back, dude, RJB. RJB, how? 
Oh gosh. Can I play please? GG's out. The scouts took him. Detroit took him down. My observer rally point was going into your base as every one of his carriers die. RJB knocked down to 120 supply. The giant Wraith Ball gamble of 2-2 two -two Wraiths from John Doe is totally working out here. Yo. All right. So now we've got four players left. It is definitely time for a pull as John Doe, like a Chad, is wiping out a Nexus with Wraiths, as you do. Carriers from Jericho are hunting around this right side. up. Scouts are trying to fight fully upgraded Dragoons, which you can stack them, which is nice. He's trying to defend this base. Sort of kind of working for him. JB, 2,000 minerals, 20,000 gas. But as we all know, gas is not really worth if you have no minerals remaining. You can't do anything with it in this game. That's going to be worth anything at all. I mean, I guess you could. Yeah, no, you can't. Cannot, cannot, cannot. Detroit bulk, 100 supply. RJB, 150. But mind out, 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 mind out. Bases are mined out. There's this that I'm surprised Jericho hasn't taken yet. I figured once Striker was dead, he'd feel brave enough to take this thing, but he hasn't. It'd, be re it'd really help. He has 600 minerals, and he could use some more. Detroit's carriers are at 333. Is he gonna stasis? RJB stasis is. <laughs> uh, no honor, no honor among thieves. Some scouts come in and try actually turning the tide here a little bit. No, focus the carrier. You can't stop hitting the carrier, scouts. Look how many obs there are from RJB. He is so worried about those rates coming back, and he definitely should be. RJB, are we focusing the injured carrier here? Shield battery is coming up. Scouts, man. Tough, tough, tough guys. And the carriers come out of stasis from Detroit. He's got eight. RJB has seven, but shield batteries exist. Also, target firing would be good from either of these players. There we go. Detroit target firing shield batteries turning the tide. Shield batteries turning the tide. How many times do you hear Falcon say that? Or anybody, for that matter. He doesn't like what he's, he's running. He's running. Retreating from a carrier battle is tough. You're going to lose a couple carriers there. 
Yeah, he just kind of two volleying him down a little bit. Six from RJB, five. Once again, shield batteries here, cannons here too. Looks like 69% of you think that RJB has this thing. We will have to see. We'll have to see if you guys come out on top or not. Hey, Jericho's taking this base. Good job, Jericho. Detroit just kind of YOLOing these guys in here. I don't think they're going to make it out is the larger question. Yeah, no, John Doe's been building wraiths, sticks. And yeah, unfortunately, there are cannons they have to worry about. So they're good defensively, but on offense, not going to be super useful. Detroit's last carriers are escaping. There are two of them. Yeah, so Detroit down to 25 supply, 300 minerals. He's effectively knocked out. The Wraith Ball is here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so many Wraiths. It is so many Wraiths from John Doe, you guys. He's got a bunch of Goliaths and SCDs here, too. Look at this. Oh, maybe don't fight all the cannons, though, guys. We just talked about this. Fight one cannon. Yeah. Carrier ball, six from our JB, under a thousand minerals remaining. This is crazy. Yeah, uh, our JB knows Detroit. Not wrong. You like rates? Here are the rates. Yeah, exactly, sticks. I'm really surprised we don't have plus three on these rates. Like a little extra damage, I feel like would be great. We got the cash for it, too. So many raids. Okay, stasis, but Arbiter dies for it. These guys are out here taking cannon shots for no reason. You guys, you need to be involved in this battle. What are you doing over here? Okay. Uh, Wraith Ball unfocused and dumb. Not killing anything. Thought about focusing. Decided to retreat instead. That was not a good play by... John Doe at all. He wants to kill these shield batteries, which I can support, I guess. These guys are going to come out of stasis. It'd be real nice if they had their buddies with them, and here they are. That is so many obs. My gosh, that is so many obs. They sniped down the Arbiter. Okay. Now you just got to target fire down the carriers. Don't even worry about the obs at this point. Carrier down. Wraiths are dying fast. Another carrier down. Shield batteries are here. And Wraiths can't get it done. Yo. RJB. Three carriers remain. 500 minerals. Needs. To, is it worth it to build here? Barely, barely worth it here to build a Nexus, but he's decided long distance mining is even more cost efficient. I don't know what these wraiths are doing. Hey, guys. Dying. I mean, that's part of what they're doing. This is so many wraiths from John Doe. Holy crap. I'm trying to harass this long-distance probe stuff, but also there's some dragoons covering it. Yeah, this is more stuff than RJB has. I don't think RJB wants to fight this. Oh, these long-distance mining probes. This is the other risk of long-distance mining. It takes a while to get your stuff, and also they could get spotted and killed. John Doe talking smack. 92 supply from RJB. 141 from John Doe. This is crazy. Duh! And then the counter bad manner. <laughs> Out of RJB here. These two people, they've got uh, a bit of a history in these free-for-alls. 
without a doubt. And yeah, RJB's mined out. He's got 300 minerals in the bank. For all of the bases that he took and all the money that he mined, he just fought too much, right? He fought Jericho. He fought Stryker. He fought John Doe. He fought Can I Play Please? The AFK strategy from Jericho here. Casually at 187 supply. Most supply in the game somehow. This base has been huge for him. He still doesn't have any shield upgrades, which I feel like would be nice in this situation. I don't know, man. John Doe having more income is nice. He's down under a thousand minerals here too, but he's got this income. This base is about it, I think, as far as unclaimed resources go. I mean, this base too. Oh my gosh, stasis up on everything RJB has. And RJB taps after getting stasis. Everybody's favorite. 69% of you voted for RJB to get the win. And then dive bombing on in here is Giant Wraith Ball. Are there any OBS remaining? He recalls a bunch out. He recalls out of there. It is <laughs> a race to the bottom right corner again for these interceptors. That was massive. And RJB's carriers don't matter because RJB left. Holy Hannah. Holy Hannah. Ara Ara is like, ah, John Doe has this. Rooting for the Terran here. Yeah, RJB. You mined so many resources and you just had major fights with like three or four other people. Oh, now these guys come out of stasis. <laughs> yep. Dude, can I play please? And RJB are gone. Detroit bulks at two supply and a hundred minerals and trying to get something done here. Not going to happen. So Detroit is done. Yeah, this basically comes down to RJB and Jericho. Or RJB. For John Doe and Jericho. Yeah, Stryker fought everybody too. John Doe fought everybody too on some level. And he was fighting Jericho. He was definitely fighting Detroit. He was fighting RJB. I don't know if Stryker and John Doe ever really fought. Yeah, Observer's getting lost. Was it because of a stasis RJB? Do you think they stopped following because there was stasis involved and that kind of reset what was happening? I bet that's what it was. Ooh. Jericho. Six carriers. These tanks are all going to die. But uh, I'm not sure that's what John Doe needs anyway. Here come the wraiths. Here we go. Arbiter snipes. Recalls out of there again. Once again, carriers on the flee to that bottom right-hand corner. What a recall. Man, I mean, Jericho's recall capabilities are kind of insane. Bad situation, just instantly transport out of there. Yeah, sticks. Protein bar is John Doe. G22 SDA. You did get one big stasis off RJB. Yeah, I think John Doe's got this one. What a match. What a match. Oh, he's got plus three attack too. Nice job. Oh, just flew all of his wraiths into that storm though and then let this cannon get a few shots off as well. Not exactly incredible, but hey. Wraiths fighting cannons. This is just... Insane levels of I don't care about this game anymore we're doing. Just do 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 do. Gonna fight this cannon. 
with like three wraiths. That'll totally work. Yeah, John Doe does not want to sit around and just end this thing in 20 minutes. He 100% is ready to end this thing now. Storm trying to get rid of these wraiths. They do get them out of there. I bet John Doe wants to nuke. Set up here, nuke over here. I bet he's going to try for it. I bet $10 on that. He's going to give it a shot. Scans it. Sees what he's dealing with. Jericho has an OBS out on the map, but, I mean, look at this. Stairs income. Stairs income. Regular income. Might as well take this base while we're at it. Yeah, hamster. That would be pretty sweet, too. Yeah, I think the last time John Doe won a free-for-all, he did that. He managed to get a ghost onto the enemy base and then nuked himself and the base for the for the final shot. That was pretty amazing. Yeah, baiting interceptors is gonna work here. 800 minerals are not gonna last forever. Carrier fleet is seven. Space nuke. Exactly, Sticks. That's what I'm thinking we gotta do. He's gotta have a nuke available. Unless he doesn't have a nuke silo, which is moderately possible. Oh. Jericho's got a DT out here. And that's a covert ops. Jericho loses his last source of income. Carriers are going to wipe out these Goliaths, but yeah, it's just income-wise. Yeah, John Doe has this, man. It is over. Il est fini. Très fini. Hobbs, single DT, defunct base, Nexus making probes. Hey, there we go. That's what we want to see. That's what we're here for, is that nuke silo blinking. John Doe trying to bait Jericho out of this corner. He says, I'll just go AFK. Wraiths do snipe an Arbiter. Lose a bunch of Wraiths in the process, but the Arbiter dying is good. There's another Arbiter here, though, and the capability to build another one, too. Here's our guy. I see him. Here he is. How far out can this nuke reach into space? No. He's like, well, what if we go over here? He thought about it. He tried it. That's my 10 bucks. Hmm. <laughs> One DT, man. He's having a great time. Yeah. 
Nope. Whoa. Here it is, right on the edge of the platform. That Kakaru is going to eat it for sure. Nope, hang on. Run, Kakaru. Flee. Good job, Kakaru. Kakaru, Kakaru. There you go. That was nice. What was that? Four Dragoons. Cannon died. Arbiter took a ton of damage, too. Lock it down, lock it down, lock it down. You have locked down. Dude, locking down an Arbiter in that position would have been really good. Jericho. We love you, man, but you really got to do something here. Is he making zealots? That's weird. I guess he's worried about getting dropped or something, but... make BCs. John Doe. Come on, man. So this gas is important. This gas is important, and it's barely being mined from. And Jericho managed to sneak an Archon and a two Zealots over here. Huh. Alright. Well, that's kind of fun out of Jericho. Wraiths come in, wipe out the Archon. Wasting shrimp shots on some defunct carriers here, and they need to be used to deal with these Zealots. Alright, that was cute. By Jericho. I think he was making a probe down here once. I don't know where it went, though. This probe has been told to do something that it can't do, and is therefore kind of stuck in a loop here. Oh, never mind. He just ended up right... Oh, he wanted to build a robotics facility. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, wraiths. Hunting. Hunting. Ah, going after the Arbiter. Got stasis again. <laughs> Looks like the star ports are flashing... Was he serious about making battle cruisers to try to end this? Yeah, you're not wrong, Eric. These free for alls usually take about an hour, but man, other maps where there are free for alls can take up to one and a half, two hours sometimes. I'm trying to avoid that by using maps that encourage aggression and have low mineral counts on the mineral patches, like this one. And yeah, seems to work out. What's up, Janice? This is Station Unrest. It's been edited and kind of refactored a bunch of ways, and now it is Falcon Unrest. We use it for free-for-alls. Yeah, some Yamato would be pretty rad. This battle cruiser has 115 energy, 184 on that one, 116 on that guy. This guy is new. Jericho disconnects Jericho <laughs> Jericho at this point in the game an hour and seven minutes in backed into a corner you disconnect I hope this is in bad manner man I hope this is legitimate internet interruption and not unplugging the ethernet cable from your PC Incredible. What an anticlimactic ending. It was pretty much over anyway, though, once RJB tapped. <laughs> GG! John Doe gets the win! <laughs> sure. Sure, why not?
Why not even? Uh, no, you win, John Doe. GG, man. Way to go. What a match. Yeah, end of the day here. It's John Doe and it's RJB up there. 360, 410 on the total score. Out producing. Jericho did a good job producing today. But killing was a big deal, too, for both these guys. Structures raised. RJB. And he outmined everybody on gas by a wide margin. Minerals just by a little bit compared to John Doe. And got outspent by John Doe. But John Doe was in the game for a few minutes longer anyway. Yo, that was amazing. All right. <laughs> Alagar gives us a clap clap. All right. Well, thanks, everyone, for being here for yet another edition of the Falcon Paladin Sunday Brood War stream part two. Unfortunately, we had to break this into two parts. Part one's like five hours long, and it's on the channel already. So check it out if you want to see more stuff. This one's only about two hours of stream. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it. I'm going to go ahead and go take a nap now because holy smokes, what a long day. Hey, no problem, big wan. Have a great day. Thanks, Ara Ara, Dave C, Igos, John Doe, congratulations. RJB, good performance in that last match for sure. Hamster, thanks for being here too. And Bluefin, thank you for the 10 gifted subs donated very generously by... Who did that again? I need to remember who did that again. Jericho did. Oh, that's right. It was Jericho. Jericho gifted 10 Falcon Paladin subs, and then we had that final game with him. Hilarious. See you later, Green Wave, Jinx, Nimmo, Noom, Tyrion. Happy Easter to everybody. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat from Hogarth. $100 even on this Easter Sunday. Appreciate it, dude. We got Potion Smeller with a $5 super chat. Chad Terran resubbed out on Twitch for five months in a row. Nimwit super chatted five bucks. We got Queen Amelia resubbing for 17 months on the channel. That's almost like it's a baby and a half. We got 150 Taiwanese dollars out of four Phoenix. Andrea super chatted 200 kroner, I think from Sweden. Nibbler re upped his membership for 20 months. Awesome stuff. Yes, Slayer resubbed for three months in a row. And then Somicron, 72 months in a row, not long ago. Okay, we got to find someone to raid. We'll wrap this thing up. You're welcome, Andreas. Hey, Jericho's back. Throwing out the lull. What happened, Jericho? Did you disconnect? Tell the truth. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, Eskia's here. What's up, Eskia? We'll give you a, we'll give you a raid. You stop by my stream. Looks like he's playing a little Terran versus something. All right, cool. So thanks again. Love you all. We'll catch you next week. Same time. Set your calendars. We'll be back. Axel. Yeah, watch the VOD. And that's it. So yeah, love you all. Have a great one. I'm going to go ahead and raid Eskia over here. So we'll go ahead and raid him and love you all. Bye. Which is where you want your tanks to be. Yeah. Like you want.